A blessed day learners. I'm teacher Lumaban. Let's take a review on national qualifying examination for school heads. Principal test review. Creating student-centered learning climate. Set 1A. Be ready and prepare yourself as we embark. Learn and enjoy this video. Be safe. And God bless you always. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Psalm 37 verse 5 Do the Muslim students protected by the Philippine government to study in any Catholic schools in the Philippines? Letter A. Yes, provided they are required to receive religious instruction. Letter B. Yes, provided they must remove their hijab to avoid discriminations. Letter C. Yes, public schools must ensure that the religious rights of students are protected. Letter D. Yes, provided they have written parental consent and expenses should be shouldered by their parents. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter C. Yes, public schools must ensure that the religious rights of students are protected. The government permits religious instruction in public schools with written parental consent provided there is no cost to the government. Based on a traditional policy of promoting moral education, local public schools allow religious groups to teach moral values during school hours. Attendance is not mandatory and the various groups share classroom space. The government also allows interested groups to distribute religious literature in public schools. By law, public schools must ensure that the religious rights of students are protected. Muslim students may wear hijab, head coverings, and Muslim girls are not required to wear shorts during physical education classes. In many parts of Mindanao, Muslim students routinely attend Catholic schools from elementary to university level and are not required to receive religious instruction. A private Catholic school in the Philippines imposed a no hijab school policy. A verified report confirmed that the school administration prohibits the wearing of hijab for uniformity and to avoid discrimination against Muslim students. After a series of consultations with the National Commission on Muslim Filipinos NCMF, and the other stakeholders, the school allows the voluntary wearing of the hijab. What is the legal basis for this action? Letter A. Most Filipino Muslims are members of various ethnic minority groups. They reside principally on Mindanao and nearby islands. Letter B. The government generally respected religious freedom in law and practice. There was no change in the status of respect for religious freedom by the government. Letter C. By law, public schools must ensure that the religious rights of students are protected. Muslim students may wear hijab, head coverings, and Muslim girls are not required to wear shorts during physical education classes. Letter D. All of the above. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is letter D. All of the above. All of the above. The school administration, with the support of the National Commission on Muslim Filipinos NCMF, undertook training to deepen understanding of the Muslim culture. The state shall promote the right of every individual to relevant quality education, regardless of sex, age, creed, socio-economic status, physical and mental conditions, racial or ethnic origin, political or other affiliation. The state shall therefore promote and maintain equality of access to education as well as the enjoyment of the benefits of education by all its citizens. K-12 
Can we request Filipino Muslim teachers to remove their veil inside the classroom? Letter A. No. It only applies to those teaching the Arabic language. Letter B. Yes, if the Deft Ed Secretary issued a memorandum circular. Letter C. No. Muslim teachers were not allowed to remove their veils during lessons. Letter D. Yes, this is to promote a better teacher-pupil relationship and to support effective language teaching since seeing the teacher's lips help in the correct production of letter sounds. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is letter D. Yes, this is to promote a better teacher-pupil relationship and to support effective language teaching since seeing the teacher's lips help in the correct production of letter sounds. Keeping the students see their face is particularly important in the language class and is especially effective when teaching younger students. What the order states are that teachers handling Arabic language and Islamic values education, alive, are requested to remove the veil covering the face, niqab, when teaching in the classroom, this is to promote better teacher-pupil relationship and to support effective language teaching since seeing the teacher's lips helps in the correct production of letter sounds he noted. According to Deft Ed Order No. 32 Series of 2013, which reiterates DECS Order No. 53, series of 2001 or strengthening the protection of religious rights of students. The order states that wearing a veil covering the entire face is allowed outside the classroom, but that it is strongly suggested that the veil is removed or partially removed, the detachable mouth and nose cover, so that students can see the teacher's mouth. The Mauricio Reynoso High School is dominated by Catholics, Jehovah, and born-again Christian. Can the principal allow two or more religious sects to receive religious instruction in the school? Letter A. Yes, only during recess and after class. Letter B. No. Only Catholics are allowed since the majority of the students are Catholic. Letter C. Yes. If the school head fixes the schedule of the religion class hours taking into account the number of the religion teachers. Letter D. No. Any principal, school head, or teacher allowed other sects to be subjected to appropriate disciplinary sanctions. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is letter C. Yes, if the school head fixes the schedule of the religion class hours taking into account the number of the religion teachers. The principal or school head shall fix the schedule of the religios class hours taking into account the number of the religion teachers slash instructors that can be fielded by the different denominations at one time. On size and scheduling of religious classes, the optional religious instruction shall be taught during regular class hours only and not before and after class time, nor during recess time. Religious classes should not number more than 40 students of the same level and the same religion, except where the religious authority certifies that his teacher slash instructor can allow for a bigger number due to its practicality, availability of time slot slash schedule, instructors slash teachers, classroom materials, and related matters. The following are the rules slash regulations on attendance and punctuality except for one. Letter A regularity of attendance and punctuality are required in all classes. Letter B. A pupil slash student who has been absent should undergo corporal punishment. Letter C. Bring them to school for a short conference with the section advisor or guidance counselor as the case may be. Letter D. A pupil slash student who has been absent or has cut classes is required to present a letter of explanation from his slash her parent or guardian. 
Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter B. A pupil slash student who has been absent should undergo corporal punishment. Pupil slash students are no longer subjected to corporal punishment. The government has enacted legislation to protect the welfare of women and children, such as Republic Act 7610 and the Child Protection Policy. In any case, punctuality and regular attendance are essential in all classes. A student who has missed or cut classes is expected to produce a letter of explanation from his or her parent or guardian, or to bring them to school for a brief meeting with the section advisor or guidance counselor, depending on the situation. They are the programs taken by Department of Education to address dropouts except for one. Letter A Project Reach Letter B Dropout Reduction Program, DORP Letter C Free and Compulsory Education for All Letter D Pantoid Pamalyang Pilipino Program, 4PS Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is Letter C Free and Compulsory Education for All the Philippines has committed to the long-term implementation of education reforms, and one of the six Education for All EFA, goals is to provide free and compulsory education for all. Here is a complete list of our government's programs to address dropouts. 1. Project REACH which enlists the help of local government units in finding the school children, reaching out to them and keeping them in school. 2. Other schemes which provide learners with an array of alternative delivery modes of learning for them to complete elementary and high school are 3. Dropout Reduction Program, DORP 4. Misosa or Modified In-School and 5. Off-School Approach and Impact or Instructional Management by Parents Community and Teachers 6. Another intervention that has improved school retention is the Pantayad. Pamalyang Pilipino Program, 4PS, as centerpiece of the government's poverty reduction measure. On social media, a recent sex scandal arose. The students are unaware that a voyeur is surreptitiously filming them. How would you decide the fate of these pupils as a school principal? Letter A Call the DSWD and the NBI to settle this issue. Letter B Explain the consequences of their behavior and reprimand them. Letter C Call the students and explain to them their behavior is inappropriate. Letter D Advise them to transfer to other schools after discussing their duties and responsibilities as students. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter D advise them to transfer to other schools after discussing their duties and responsibilities as students. Regardless of sex, age, creed, socioeconomic situation, physical and mental ailments, racial or ethnic origin, political or other affiliation, the state encourages the right of every individual to relevant, high-quality education. The scandal recordings, on the other hand, brought embarrassment to the school, the faculty, and the students. Counseling with parents and students is the best method to handle this situation. However, the voyeur who captured the video should be imprisoned for uploading sexual footage to the internet. The legal basis for this matter, Section 15 Article 2 of Batas Pambanza Bilang 232 and Republic Act No. 9155.
a grade 10 student is accused of having raped a grade 9 student. The parents of the victim requested the school authorities that the alleged rapist child be removed from school. What will be your action? Letter A Bring the case to the police. Letter B Bring the case to the DSWD. Letter C Transfer the grade 10 student to another school. Letter D let the DSWD take care of the offending child and let the school provide ADM learners materials for compliance. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter D. Let the DSWD take care of the offending child and let the school provide ADM learners materials for compliance. A grade 10 student is accused of having raped a grade 9 student. The parents of the victim requested the school authorities that the alleged rapist child be removed from school. The action will be to let the DSWD take care of the offending child and let the school provide ADM learners materials for compliance. You are the school head of a school where the teachers received a minimum of 5,000 pesos PBB because all the indicators are not reached, particularly the dropout rate, which is the major contributing factor. As the school head, which of the following is the best step will you do to decrease the dropout rate in the school? Letter A Intensify the dropout reduction program. Letter B Instruct teachers not to drop their students. Letter C. Let the advisors do more home visitations and encourage students to undergo modular instruction. Letter D. Call for a meeting of all parents and explain to them that they should send their children to school regularly so they can have a better future. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is letter C. Let the advisors do more home visitations and encourage students to undergo modular instruction. You are the school head of a school where the teachers received a minimum of 5,000 pesos PVB because all the indicators are not reached, particularly the dropout rate, which is the major contributing factor. As the school head, the best step will you do is to decrease the dropout rate in the school by letting the advisors do more home visitations and encouraging students to undergo modular instruction. What kind of voice should you advise your teachers to have? Letter A sexy. Letter B loud. Letter C warm. Letter D strong. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter C warm. Speaking to them with a direct and sincere tone of voice will help them build trust and meet your expectations. A warm voice is advisable for a teacher. Which of the following are indicators that a teacher is acting as a positive role model for students? Roman numeral 1. Demonstrate punctuality. Roman numeral 2. Maintains appropriate appearance. Roman numeral 3. Implements school policies and procedures. Roman numeral 4. Show respect for other persons and their ideas. Letter A Roman numerals 1 and 3. Letter B Roman numerals 1, 2, and 3. Letter C Roman numerals 1, 2, and 4. Letter D Roman numerals 1, 2, 3, and 4. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is letter D Roman numerals 1, 2, 3, and 4. The following are indicators that a teacher is acting as a positive role model for students at demonstrating punctuality, maintaining appropriate appearance, 
implementing school policies and procedures, and showing respect for other persons and their ideas. As the school head of Pilot Elementary School, you want to implement a child-friendly school. What programs will you implement for these holistic goals? Roman numeral 1. Accepting all kinds of students, having gender-sensitive and non-discriminating policies. Roman numeral 2. Preparing effective programs for children that involve students and their parents. Roman numeral 3. Having a clear program on student nutrition and health. Roman numeral 4. Having a functional guidance program, child protection committee, and anti-bullying committee at the same time. Letter A Roman numerals 1 and 2. Letter B Roman numerals 2 and 3. Letter C Roman numerals 1, 2, and 3. Letter D Roman numerals 1, 2, 3, and 4. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter D Roman numerals 1, 2, 3, and 4. As the school head of Pilot Elementary School, you want to implement a child-friendly school. The programs that you will implement for these holistic goals is accepting all kinds of students, having gender-sensitive and non-discriminating policies, preparing effective programs for children that involve students and their parents, having a clear program on student nutrition and health, and having a functional guidance program, child protection committee, and anti-bullying committee at the same time. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4 verse 13 Thank you. And God bless you always.